Okay, great. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Ken Lee. I'm the head of product marketing for our cloud automation products here at VMware. So I'm going to talk to you about the, some of the key challenges of what we are doing at the automation layer. Uh, earlier, you might have seen, you heard us talk about the operations layer and the, uh, the overall cloud management solution that we have across our product portfolio. The layer I'm going to focus on are some key uh, products that we address using software as a service primarily. So cloud automation services is a product we're going to talk about. And what are the key challenges that we're looking to address uh, with this uh, solution? So when we look at companies or, or customers who are migrating and transforming their infrastructure to a hybrid cloud and ultimately to multiple public clouds, we see obviously a mixture of, of challenges that they're looking to help address from, uh, from vendors like ourselves. So uh, when we look at the infrastructure layer, there's a, you know, if you, as you go to a cloud, you can look at a potential situation where you have thousands of objects, services, containers, and applications, hundreds of cloud accounts. Um, and of course, even if you have those issues, do, do you have the right teams and processes to address them? And then, uh, and then at the higher level, what are the key challenges in terms of visibility, right, into the increased spending that you're going to see as you go towards hybrid cloud? Um, what about the efficiency or over-provisioning of the cloud infrastructure? You see that happening quite a bit. How about a common consistent a governance layer and security layer? Uh, performance inconsistencies and, uh, and the diversity and scale of the workloads that uh, you're looking to migrate into the public cloud and hybrid clouds. <laughs> so the layer I'm going to focus on, and you're going to see a lot of excellent uh, demonstrations of is the, what we call the programmable provisioning layer, which is our automation layer. And the set of capabilities that we have at this layer are things such as infrastructure as code, um, service catalog, pipeline as code, container services, and governance. And the way we provide this to our customers and to you is through a set of capabilities uh, that address multiple personas, right? Developers, DevOps, SREs, and of course, IT operations and infrastructure uh, management. The set of capabilities that we package up right, into our products, and you may be uh, familiar with vRealize Automation as our core automation platform, and also we've turned that into our SaaS offering, right? so cloud automation service. So you're going to see us talk about that primarily uh, today. So what are the key capabilities? Catalog and policy, service brokering, continuous delivery, right? Uh, capabilities around application services, function as a service, container services, third-party tools, all with a common policy and governance um, <laughs> of a layer, and the ability to uh, create native templates, right, that you can deploy into multiple public clouds, AWS for sure, Azure, GCP, and you know, additional public clouds as you go forward. VRealize Automation is the solution that we offer for on-premise deployments. You guys know this, right? So the core capabilities are self-service catalog of native templates into each public cloud and a consistent governance layer across all those clouds, right? Uh, the ability to automate applications and delivery and orchestration across those multiple public clouds using DevOps principles like infrastructure as code, policy as code. And uh, the ability to deploy, automate deployment, right? across the uh, multiple cloud operations that you need to, to implement. And the key thing is that if you didn't know that we offer this as a service, we do, and we've been offering that uh, since January of this year. The three products that make up our SaaS offerings are Cloud Assembly, right, which is a core offering around uh, automating orchestration and accelerating delivery of applications and infrastructure to the uh, enterprise. Service Broker, that's our self-service catalog with native templates for each cloud and a common, common governance card rail across those, right? And that's um, our Service Broker product. And then CoStream for automating deployments um, with operations. But the key thing is, is that the exact same capabilities, right, right now are um, in Cloud Automation Services today, which is something that we um, it's in GA and it's offered, it's updated every month in terms of, you'll notice the blogs that we write um, and the primary writers and providers of that blog is the person that's going to be coming up uh, next very shortly. 
One thing I'll leave you with is the fact that our customers are using cloud automation services for four key use cases, right? And so what are those use cases? Um, Self-service hybrid cloud, right? Offering an out-of-the-box public cloud experience within the enterprise. Multi-cloud automation with governance, a consistent orchestration and governance layer across the multiple public clouds that you're deploying your uh, workloads to. Delivery with DevOps, right? Deployment automation and uh, the ability to manage Kubernetes clusters and containers applications using a common automation layer. So these are the four use cases that uh, our customers are primarily looking for to be using our cloud automation services with. And we'll go into a lot more details about each one of these um, today.